Hey everyone, welcome to Foxtech, where we make technology simple for everyone. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain how to delete photos from your iPhone's iCloud storage. Understanding the difference between local storage and a cloud storage is crucial. So your iPhone uses both the local storage on the device itself and cloud storage, which can include iCloud, Dropbox, or whatever else you use. But for today, we only focus on iCloud, of course, as it's directly integrated with Apple devices and also inside of the actual Photos app. So when you open this Photos app on your iPhone, it doesn't clearly indicate which photos are stored locally and which are in iCloud. However, there are subtle hints, like photos that take a moment to load up because they're being downloaded from the cloud. Or this, this can be confusing because it's not always straightforward to determine when your photos are stored on the cloud or on the phone. But to differentiate between local photos and iCloud photos, you can turn off iCloud Sync. Here is how you can do it. You open up the settings on your iPhone and then tap on your name at the top of the screen to access the Apple ID section. Navigate to iCloud and then Photos and turn off the syncing. With uh, or what this does is that it stops your iPhone from syncing photos with iCloud, which means that your iCloud photos will be removed from your device, leaving only the photos stored locally. This can make it easier to manage and distinguish between the two sets of photos. However, the method I personally prefer for managing iCloud photos involves using a web browser. I use Safari on my iPhone or on my computer to visit iCloud.com. Once you sign in, navigate to the Photos section and this way you are directly in interacting with your iCloud storage only. You can browse through your photos stored in the cloud or, uh, I mean, it is much simpler to delete the ones you no longer want without worrying about the confusion between what's stored locally and what's in the iCloud. By using this method, you just ensure that you're only managing the photos that you want. So I really hope you found this video useful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up and even subscribe if you like what you see. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in the future.